Greetings, everyone. This is your boy, Bobby. Yeah. 1984 coming to you with the WWE 2K16 game play 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 and I'm gonna try to do one or two of these each week and and you see I created a character his name is your mama's boyfriend aka Bobby 1984 and I just wanted to start the career and just see if I can replicate what I did in last year's game where I pretty much built my character up from NXT all the way up to the main event status and win the title but this year I would like to have you guys come along and watch me win the title and try to you know defend the title rather than just win it and then retire but I'm gonna tell you right now I mean my guy is a bad man you, you just tell by the music he got like darkness to him you know he comes out got this calm calm confidence with him he's just mean dude but he fresh to death and um while i'm doing these i would just like you know watch the game play i'm trying to learn how to play all over again i i think i want to be a mat technician like just suplexing people and just you know reversing things so i, I gotta get my skills down at the moment i'm only 67 overall so i'm um, i'm building my way up i'm currently ranked i think second third second or third in nxt you know to win the title so i'm slowly moving up but man i gotta get better at this game but um as i do these each each time i have one i want to like focus on the topic from from wrestling you know because i don't have a podcast or anything like that so why not just use this as the platform to be my podcast and come up with topics and talk about things and then you guys can you know chime in in the comment section and let me know what you think because i'm a big wrestling fan and right now i'm just not happy with the product but uh he, he, here's today's topic and and, and i want to focus on roman reign because recently he defeated uh bray bray wyatt in hell in the cell and then on monday night he won the fatal four uh fatal four way to be crowned number one contender to my main man seth rollins uh wwe world heavyweight championship so here's my thing F right off the bat I don't I don't hate Roman Reigns. I really don't. I, I I think he's a hard worker. He's improved a lot since since uh last year when they were pretty much forcing him down our throats and you know he won the Royal Rumble and got booed out the building and main event at WrestleMania and everybody was booing hell. I was in the crowd booing on myself. So I don't I don't hate him. I just I just I just feel like he's John Cena two point oh. And I and I think at this time in this juncture the, the the product needs to change and it's not his fault he's he's doing what he's being told to do so i'm not going to talk about his mic skills which are still below average i'm not going to talk about his 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 wrestling ability which is still average i mean clothes lines punches spear pump handle slam samoan drop superman punch like like everybody has their set of moves that they do so i can't i can't fault him for his 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 moves i mean he, he still does his thing and and this is the thing that that really gets me people keep saying he's having all these good matches and i think they're entertaining but my problem is and and just look at look at the fatal four-way match from monday night raw he was it seemed like he was laid out most of the time a lot of his matches i just see him either taking the hellacious beating or he's just laid out and and out on the ground or something like that where he's not really doing much so for me i get frustrated seeing that. i want a back and forth match i want something that's entertaining and i, I just don't want it to be predictable like how john cena's matches have been like granted i've enjoyed john cena's ma u.s uh open challenges uh up until he lost the title to del rio I've, I've been loving him even though that match was underwhelming i've been loving him it's been showing different people coming at him but those are predictable because you just knew John Cena was going to win, but the matches were good, and it's the same thing with Roman Reigns. Yes, his matches are good, but I'm talking about you can you can script that stuff from beginning to end. He's going to take a beating for most of the match, and he's going to do the Superman punch. He's going to do the drive by, then he's going to do the Superman punch again, and then boom, here's the spear, and it's over. Like th that that for me just isn't working. And here, here's another thing: when was the last time Roman Reigns has lost a match cleanly, singles match cleanly? Since he's since he's broke off from the shield, I don't think he's ever lost a match cleanly. Like he he lost to Bray Wyatt because uh, Luke Harper interfered. Yeah, he he lost the Money in the Bank uh, ladder match last year because Bray Wyatt interfered. Like he don't he doesn't lose matches cleanly. And and here's the problem where like why I look at it as he's John Cena 2.0. They are building him in the mode of John Cena. 
Look, look at look at the uh the the promos they've been doing for the uh Susan G. Coleman breast cancer um promos they've been doing. Who who who's in the ring with with John Cena? Why everybody else is on the ramp? Roman Reigns. Who who's in the promo commercials with him? John Cena in Roman Reigns. Like I'm seeing that happen. Like so basically they show they get them they kind of position them to be the face of the company, and then. He doesn't lose his matches cleanly, just like John Cena. He he has that never give up mentality, just like John Cena. Hell, even some of his promos that he cut used to be somewhat like they used to try to have the comedic uh, timing down and all that stuff to it, just like John Cena. And and for me, I don't see that as Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is the silent kick your ass type, and I can get behind that. But I I, I just see John Cena when I see that. And granted. Seth Rollins' title reign has been something just terrible. Like they have, they have portrayed him as this cowardly champion that loses Monday on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. In John Cena's heyday, I don't remember him ever losing a non-title match. You know, and 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 that's why I'm almost pretty much certain that I'm ready for Seth Rollins to give up the title and feud with Triple H and and turn babyface because. This has just been a sour taste in my mouth. Like, I, I love Seth Rollins. He's such a great worker, and the way that they portray him is just awful. And I guarantee you, when Roman Reigns wins the title, and, and, and I'm saying win because it's going to happen, he's not going to be losing no non-title matches. He's not. He's, he, hell, I'm telling you, the men, somebody in the comment section, please, if you can, tell me, when it, where was a match during Roman Reigns' um, singles career has he lost a match? Lost a match cleanly. Some, if somebody could point that out to me, please do that for me. But it, it, here's the other problem that I have. Not not just with him being John Cena 2.0. Why can't they elevate and push multiple guys at the same time? When I go back to the Attitude Era, just like everyone else, you had you had Steve Austin, you had The Rock, you had the Undertaker, you had Triple H, you had Mankind or Cassius Jack or whoever he was at that time. All those guys. Were, were, were pretty much at the main event level they all were either popular as baby faces or or they were the the strong heels of the company right now at this moment you have john cena who's on a break that's that's the baby that's the top face roman reigns is being positioned to take that spot as the top face and then it's everybody else below him and we already been through this for 10 years where it's just one guy at the top of the mountain Ra granted randy orton has won his titles but Randy Orton has always been a couple of notches under John Cena. Like, uh, let's just be honest. You know, Randy is there, but he's he's a couple of notches under. So my my issue is, why don't why don't create creative book? Uh, and, and again, I, I get it. Cesaro doesn't have the mic skills and this and that. But I, I'm in that. I think I'm in that area now where I think I'm all about the wrestling. At, at this point in time, I'm at, I'm all about the wrestling. I want to I want to be entertained by a great match. You can give me a good promo here and there. But I, I want to see a great back and forth match that's not predictable. Like I, I want to be able to believe that Roman Reigns can lose to Cesaro, or Cesaro can lose to Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler can beat Roman Reigns, and vice versa. Like I want to be able to go, go into a match thinking, man, this might be the night Cesaro wins it all. And I understand you need to be able to sell merchandise. You need to be able, as the face of the company, you need to be able to talk and go to all the stuff outside the ring, all the promotions. I get all of that. But putting all that to the side, why can't creative put their resources into elevating multiple guys at the same time? Why we can't, why they can't why can't they push Kevin Owens, Cesaro, Dolph Ziggler, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose? Why all these guys? These guys are these guys are the future. You know, the part timers are only have so much time where they can keep coming back. Undertaker ain't got too many more matches in him. Brock Lesnar is 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 all Brock Lesnar is just all about making his money. He don't really care about the company. And he even said it's a job, you know. John Cena's getting older. He needs a break. He he can't do this forever, you know. So so my thing is just come on. What what are we what are we doing here? Like and I know creative has like like their writing team is 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 what 20 25 writers from different backgrounds from you know Hollywood and and, and soap opera shows and all that stuff. So I know they have the people, but what what's going on behind the scenes that 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 oh no 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 <laughs> okay hold on the, oh I thought I, I I really thought I pushed it in time damn it but but again. What is going on here that that we that they can't go? Let's push multiple guys, not like not just one guy. 
Okay, so this was a great match. I'm, I'm going to cut myself off for a second. It was a great match. I, I, I got to get more practice in. I lost that. But we're we not we not done yet because, as I, as I said earlier, I'm like – second or third in the in the in the rankings for the nxt title so my thing is right now i'm going to interfere in hideo otami's match so i can start a feud with him so that now i'm on the, so i can be on the map to to be next in line to win the title so that's that's my next move so it's okay for me to lose the match i just lost but now i'm setting my sights on a hideo otami that's all i was saying folks if you have any any, any input anything you want to say about this situation please in the comment section i, I would love to have you know a, a debate or or just just let's go back and forth talking about this i don't really get to talk about this stuff to anybody necessarily it's only a few people in the office that are wrestling fans and I, I i i feel like i don't have a life i spend so much time like reading articles about wrestling and and, and just trying to you know the jim ross stuff and and just just really focusing on what's happening with the product you know i'm, I'm I just, I'm just, I'm a fan, you know. I mean, I don't really play too many video games that often no more. And I, what I do is spend my time watching, <laughs> watching what little bit of wrestling I can. So, folks, please, let, let's talk about this. Is Roman Reigns the next John Cena, or is he John Cena 2.0? What can they do differently to 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 switch that up? Please, somebody. So, before we take Welcome off, let's show. hear what my main this man, my your mama's tonight. boyfriend, have to say about about what he did to let's Hideo Tommy. Come on, Renee. Come on, Renee. Pass Why it over to me, Renee. Why would you do such a thing as to ambush him during his I didn't own ambush match? him. I just, I just kind of came up on him. Let me see. Uh, let's go with A. Let's go with A. No disrespect to him. There we but go. But he has a target on his back. Mm -hmm. He is the guy to beat right now. Mm -hmm. If I want to prove myself as a WWE superstar, I don't talk like I that. I have though. to go through him. So that's what I'm doing. Hmm. Challenge laid down. But folks, it's all on him now. Until next time, let's do this. We go.